Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel, Eternal Easy Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 4, Algorithmic Strategy, Part 2. Content of the session is, what is analysis of algorithm? What are the two different phases? What is the complexity of an algorithm? A recap, what is an algorithm? An algorithm is a finite set of instructions to accomplish a particular task. It is a step-by-step -step procedure for solving a given problem. If there is a question, then there is a solution. The solution is written step-by-step -step and that is said to be the algorithm. And there must be some characteristics in an algorithm. If we have written algorithm means it must have an input, output and the steps should be finite and definiteness. It should be in a correct manner. Effectiveness, the input and the required output should be in a proper procedure. Correctness, the output should be the answer or the expected result is correct or the accuracy is good. Simplicity, the algorithm should be easy to implement and ambitious. That means it should not create any confusions while we are giving the input. Feasibility, it should adapt with the resource, independent, it should be independent of the platform, it must be able to work in any type of OS, that is the characteristics of an algorithm. Now, we will see the analysis of an algorithm, that means we are going to examine the algorithm, how it is effective or how, how far it should be efficient to do the task. It usually deals with the running and execution time of various operations involved. The running time of an operation is calculated as how many programming instructions executed per operation. That means we are writing the steps. So, to execute a particular task, how much the time is required. The process of finding the computational complexity of algorithm is the amount of the time, the storage or all other resources needed to execute them. That means after writing the algorithm, we are having an analysis. That means what is the storage required for the algorithm to do the task. Next one is what is the timing for the execution of the algorithm or any other resources are needed to execute the algorithm. So, I have to analyze all the thing and we have to find the efficient algorithm for a particular task. The analysis of algorithm is having two phases. One is period, another one posterior. What are they? One is theoretical performance. Efficiency of an algorithm is measured by assuming the external factors. Another one is, uh, this is called performance measurement, that is posterior. In this analysis, actual statistics like running time and record for the algorithm executions are collected. One is theoretically it is assumed. Next part, it is, uh, stat it is analyzed during the run time. So, these are the two phases. Complexity of an algorithm. That means the complication or the efficiency of an algorithm is depends on suppose A is an algorithm and N is the size of the input data, the time and the space used by the algorithm A are the two main factors which decide the efficiency of an algorithm. Is it clear? If algorithm A is not the input size of the N. If it's so, the efficiency is calculated based on the time and the space used by the algorithm. What is the time factor? That is the two main factors are time factor and the space factor. Time is measured by counting the number of key operations like comparisons in the sorting algorithm. We are going to learn the sorting algorithm. Just have an idea that the time means the measurement of counting the number of key operations. That means the time required to do the operations or the calculations. 
space factor space factor measured by the maximum memory space required by the algorithm simple first one is how how much time it will require next one how much space it require what is that the algorithm how much time it will take how much space it will occupy complexity of an algorithm that is said to be a four fin it is defined in a formula formula notations gives the running time and the storage space required by the algorithm in terms of n as the size of the input data if n is the input data then f of n is the complexity of algorithm then f of n will give the running time and the storage space required by the algorithm this is the formation for a complexity of an algorithm the complexity of an algorithm the time that is having two factors time and the space what is time complexity time complexity of an algorithm is given by the number of steps taken by the algorithm to complete the process next space complexity of an algorithm is the amount of memory required to run to its completion among the space requirement it is having two components one is fixed part another one is variable part fixed part is defined as the total space required to store certain data and variables for an algorithm for example simple variables and constants used in an algorithm that means you know the constant value will remains constant throughout the program that is the fixed part as particular space is completely required throughout the program as a constant so it is a fixed part what about the variable part is defined as the total space required by the variables which size depends on the problem and its iterations for example recursions used to calculate factorial of a given number that means if if you are there is a program to calculate a factorial value if you give the n value as 5 means the space, the iteration was only 5 if it is 125 iteration will increase that time the variable part that means the storage space will increase so a recap an estimation of the time and space complexities of an algorithm for varying input size is called algorithmic analysis or algorithm form panna modu adu eduthukra time adu theva padra space oda complexities that is the complications or the requirements of the time and the space for the given input is said to be the algorithmic analysis two different phases theoretical and practical practical time factor space factor and you know what is the time complexity the time required to do the algorithm space required for the algorithm complexity of an algorithm f of n gives the running time or the storage space required by the algorithm in, term, in terms of n as the size of the input data is it clear is it clear children analysis of algorithm is simple uh, algorithm is analyzed based on the time required by the algorithm and the space required by the algorithm and there is a formation for us that is said to be f of n here the n is said to be the size of the input data that's all for the session Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.